burn half of this boat, we call it the wet zone. What do we, why do we call it the wet zone, guys? It's gonna get wet, plan on it. Plan on getting wet if you go in the front. The faster I drive, the wetter it's gonna get. The bigger the waves, the wetter it's gonna get. The more the wind blows, the wetter it's gonna get. The more of you out there at the same time, the wetter it's gonna get. Now, if everybody on the boat's out there, we're gonna be driving around like our, like the Titanic with our bow underwater. There's two things we need to utilize the underwater pods. One is dolphin. Two, dolphin that wanna play with us. We find six dolphin chasing fish and ignoring us. I guarantee you'll see a lot more up here than you would on the pond. So we have to find the right uh, opportunity for really the best opportunity. Now, if that opportunity We are following a gray whale. Nice big adult gray whale. Captain Tom thinks it's probably a female because it is so large. It's probably a pregnant female. There she blows. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you here, get you a little closer. Peninsula on the Pacific side where they mate. They so give birth there and begin to raise their young. The 12,000 mile migration and those from Russia add another 2,000 miles to be 14,000 miles on the migration. It's the longest migration of any mammal on earth. Here, look at this awesome tail. That beautiful high tail. Excellent. That's awesome. What do you guys think? Was that pretty cool? Yeah. Amazing. Excuse me, I, I actually heard four dolphins and one whale. You heard four dolphins and one whale? Yes. That's awesome. Let's keep an eye out for that whale, okay? I'm going in to tell my dad. Good idea. All right. Just to the left of the sun line here. Watch, we have that California gray whale. She blows. You can see the footprints behind it. Follow the track line and you can see the direction, but you see how big around those footprints are. It gives you an idea how big this whale is. You know, I'll zoom in a little bit for you here. Better look. Here she comes. Nice. Keep her in the frame, right? There she blows. Nice. Here she goes. Nice big fluke. Beautiful. California gray whales. Crabs and crab traps and fishing nets uh, tend to impact those species more because they spend more time in areas that people are working in. And uh, 
lot of the fishermen are involved in this process too. They, they report the animals on the in trap, and they've actually rescued quite a few of these animals. more up ahead of us. Hope we get a better look at those. That's about a quickest glimpse of common dolphin as you're gonna get. Here's one. They are not wanting to play with this boat at all. They're too busy trying to find some food. A couple more up ahead of us. There's one. Maybe they'll come by and play with us for a second here. Nope, no luck. California sea lions because the seal could not get up on these on this buoy. California sea lions have ropes that allow them to climb up here like this. They also bark and sea lions don't bark so if you're barking you know it's a sea lion. And sea lions propel themselves with their front flippers and steer with the back. Seals propel themselves with their back flippers and steer with the front. Here's Dana Point in the background, California sea lion. 